In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a no-code healthcare check-in voice AI agent using GPT-5, which is one of the best models for creating voice AI agents. So in this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to create that. We're going to use Retail AR, our voice AI agent front end, and then we're going to use our NADN as a back end. I'm going to show you all of this step-by-step, -step, and I'm also going to give you all of these resources completely for free, including the prompt for the voice AI agent, and then also the NADN blueprint, so that way you can just download this on your workflow, and you'll be able to build this in no time. Voice AI agents are one of the fastest growing sectors of the AI market, so make sure you stick around to the end of the video, because not only will you learn how to create the simple voice AI agent with complete no-code tools, but at the end of the video, I'm also going to show you how you can start building voice AI agents to sell to customers. Even if you have never done this before, I'm going to show you how you can actually become certified so that way you can start selling these to your potential clients. All right, let's get started. All right, so first things first, we're going to build our front end through our uh, retail AI. So I'm going to put the link in the description. You can click on that link. It will bring you to retailai.com. Retail AI is probably the best voice AI agent platform in the market right now. And you can check out their website. They have comparisons with the different voice AI agents that are out there and why their platform is such a great platform to build voice AI agents, especially for no code users. So once you come in here, create a free account, they'll give you $10 free credit. So that way it will be plenty for you to uh, play around and build this voice agent. So you're going to go ahead and log in. So I already have an account. I'm just going to log in here. So you're going to come right here to uh, your all agents. Obviously, I've built a bunch here, but yours isn't going to look blank. So you're going to come here on the left hand side. You're going to click on create an agent. You're going to click on voice agent. It's going to bring up all of these different uh, um, levels or different voice AI agents that are present, the multi-agent conversation flow, but we're going to build a simple one because I don't want to make this video too long. So we're going to click on the single prompt agent. You're going to click on start from blank. You're going to click on create. Now, what this is going to do is this is going to create a blank voice AI agent workflow for you. All right. So this section right here on the left hand side, this is the universal prompt for the agent, which basically gives you all it would gives the voice agent all of the information and instruction on how to interact with the customers. On the right hand side, you have the functions, knowledge base and everything else, but we're going to just focus more on the prompt side so that way we can instruct this voice agent how to interact with the customer. So the prompt, I'm just going to bring this over and again, the prompt is going to be available on the link in the description. You can go to the AI Workshop Lite community. It's completely free. So you're going to go to the classroom sections. You're going to come to the YouTube resources and you're going to come to the bottom it says healthcare check and voice agent. This is one. So all you have to do is come here and literally just copy this entire um, uh, prompt right here. So I'm just going to copy that. Okay. And I'm going to go back to my retail agent and I'm just going to paste this. Okay. So just to quickly go over, you're giving your voice agent the identity. So you're saying you're Kate from appointment department from retail health, style guidelines, how it should respond or how it should interact with the customer, and also how the step-by-step um, -step task will be for this particular situation. So it says you'll follow the step below. So do not skip any steps. Only ask up to one question and response, right? And we're giving exactly what to do here. So you can feel free to check out all of these steps. But essentially, we're telling it to start, begin by introducing uh, yourself that you're calling from uh, retail health and you're calling to check up on animal for the customer. <clears throat> And all of this information could be, uh, will be coming in from our NNN backend. So we're going to go ahead and bring, bring that over in. So I'm going to go back to my, uh, healthcare voice agent again. In the bottom, I'm going to click on NNN blueprint. You can download this here and then you're going to go to your NNN. Uh, so if you don't have an account, you can go ahead and create a uh, free NNN account as well. So I'm just going to go to my NNN account here. So since I already have an account, I'm just going to log in. If you don't have one, you can go ahead and create a new one. So I'm going to click, click a new, create a new workflow. I'm going to come to the top here, click on these three dots, import from file, and I'm going to bring in this uh, voice agent. There you go. So this is going to bring in this entire template. Again, all of this is available inside the free community. But by the way, if you want to learn step by step, I have an entire uh, course on retail AI in NADN where I walk you through step by step how uh, to build production ready voice agents like uh, dental office appointment reminder everything else and we also provide a certification so if you want to become certified voice agent so you can start selling this to uh, your customers feel free to check out the community this is going to be the AI workshop paid community I'm going to put the link in the description on that as well but anyway so uh, for this particular one you're going to everything is free so you can just utilize that so once you bring this over 
So what this is doing is this is grabbing this information from a Google Sheet where all of the customer information will be will be sitting in. So in our particular situation, because we're calling to remind the customer of their annual checkup, annual health appointment, then it needs to grab that information from our Google Sheet. And then the next one, I am using a HTTP request node to be able to reach out to retail AI. And this is the endpoint we're using, which is create a phone call, right? Again, you will have access to all of this. It's not like you have to build any of this, but I'm just telling you what, what this is for the custom um, uh, auth. You just have to create a authentication and you can get that API from your dashboard on retail. Um, and then on the bottom here, we're sending this body. So if I expand this, and again, you will have access to this. So this is essentially grabbing the information, the from number, the to number, the name, phone number, email. This is coming all from our previous note to our Google Sheet here. So that's what's happening. So when you execute this workflow, so if I click on execute workflow, what this is going to do is this is going to grab that information from that Google Sheet and it's going to use uh, retail to call. So if you see now, I should receive a call shortly. There you go. So if I turn this up, so I'm receiving this call from this particular agent. So I'm not going to answer it because I'm going to use the test um, um, on the front end and retail here, but you can see this gets initiated. So there you go. All of that information co is coming in uh, from our Google sheet here. So there you go. So that's how this this could get initiated. And I'm using a manual workflow or a manual execute, but you can always use kind of a schedule trigger. So that way it goes through and grabs all of the information for different customers to remind them of their upcoming appointment. In the bottom here, this is just updating the information from the webhook once the call is complete, right? And we can do that in a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and um, go back to my retail here. So as far as the identity, you're just saying you're Kate from Appointment Department Retail Health calling Cindy. So I'm just using Cindy as an example. But if you want to have this information come in from uh, the Google Sheet, you would just change this to a dynamic variable, call it name. And this is going to grab all of that information from your Google Sheet here. Because again, this we're giving this agent ID right here, override agent ID. And this ID is the agent ID right here on top. So that's what it ha that's how we're connecting this, right? And as you can see on the left hand side, so we want to make sure as I mentioned, we want to use GPT uh, five, <clears throat> because that's the newest model. So you're going to click on that. And you're going to come to GPT five here. And you're going to click on fast tier, because this is the, the fastest uh, model. So that way you're interacting with the customer and there's not a lot of latency. All right, so that's essentially what we're doing. We're just reminding the customer of the information. The webhook sitting right here. So this is where you would uh, paste the webhook uh, right here. If I go back, this is the webhook that we're going to be pasting to make sure that once the call is complete, we're updating our CRM. Uh, so I'm just going to copy this, go back here and paste this. So now once the call is complete, this is going to send all of that information there. Now, another quick thing, well, we need to add a function because in the bottom here, we're calling a end functions so right here. So you see, if the user does not have any questions, call function and call to hang up because you always want to present a end call function to make sure that the call doesn't go on forever. So you can click on function, click on end call and everything else you're going to leave as it is. So now what this is going to do once, once the, uh, call is complete. It's going to finish our, it's going to call this end call function. It's just going to hang up. So let's go ahead and test it out quickly. Again, I'm just going to use a quick test, but you can feel free to play around with this. This is a very simple one. And like I said, you have all of the resources for free. So you can figure this out on your own if you want. So I'm going to click on test agent so that way you can see what's going on here. And then I'm also going to let me close this, execute this so that way you can see that information that's coming in uh, from the end of the call here. I'm just going to cancel the, for that, for that, um, Google sheet at this point, cause I don't want that to be updated. So let's go ahead and test this. I'm going to click on test here. All right. Oops. Hold on one second. Let me actually, I forgot to do this. Uh, at the bottom here, I forgot actually for the welcome, you want the AI to speak first because that's what it's doing, right? It's, uh, reminding the customer uh, of the, uh, appointment. So I'm just going to use that. Now and again, let's test. Hi there. This is Kate from the appointment team at Retail Health. Am I speaking with Cindy? Uh, yes. Great. Thanks, Cindy. 
You've got your annual checkup scheduled for Thursday, April 4th, 2024 at 10 a.m. PDT. Does that time still work for you? Um, yeah, is this uh, for the appointment reminder? Yeah, just a quick reminder and prep call. Before you come in, is there anything you'd like the doctor to know? Any new symptoms, meds, or concerns since your last visit? Um, uh, no, not really. I think I'm good to go. I can, I can come in for, for the appointment. That, sh that time should work. And I have, nothing has changed since then, so. Perfect. Thanks for confirming. One quick heads up. Please don't eat or drink anything the morning of your visit on Thursday, April 4th at 10 a.m. And if anything changes with your health before then, just give us a call. Okay. Do you have any questions for me today? No, I think I'm good. Thank you. You're all set then. Thanks for your time, Cindy. We'll see you on Thursday, April 4th at 10 a.m. Have a great day. All right, thanks. All right, perfect. So there you go. If I go now, now you go now. You see that all of that information got sent via webhooks. So if I click on this, see all of this information got sent to us uh, from the front end uh, retail from right here because we added our webhook there. So now we can process information, use a summarization chain, update uh, the, our CRM or Google Sheet or capture that information, send a uh, some kind of a other request or some kind of a email, whatever it may be, right? So that's how you can interact back and forth. So I wanted to make sure that, you know, we're sending the transcript so from the front end to the back end in NADN. And like I said, you can, instead of kind of clicking on test, I could have just answered the call like initially when I initiated this, it would have been the same exact thing. So this is how you can build a very simple voice agent with uh, GPT-5, uh, GPT which is, again, one of the fastest models right now, especially for voice agents. It's really cool. So make sure you utilize this, play around, and if you're any kind of issues, uh, post them in the comments below. Or, like I said, if you want to learn how to build complex client-ready voice agent, make sure you check out the AI Workshop community. We have over 800 members that are building voice agents and agents with NADN and starting their AI agencies because I have a five-week program that you can check out there. We'll show you exactly how to gain your first customer within a couple of months uh, because we run our own voice AI, our, our own AI agency, and we use our own experience to show you and teach you how to land your first paying client and how to insert your career in the AI agency space, which is blowing up right now. And like I said, with the great thing about our voice AI agent courses that at the end, once you complete everything, we can give you a certification. So that way you become a certified voice AI agent expert. So when you're sitting in front of your clients or when you're talking to potential clients, you'll be able to show that you know what you're talking about with this exclusive partnership that we have with Retail AI. So make sure you check out the community. I'm going to put the link in the description. Thanks for watching. Please make sure you like and subscribe because I've got a lot more content that are coming up that you don't want to miss. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.